Please stand for the flag salute. Ready? Salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And remain standing for our national anthem played by our own liberal politician, Mr. Rodriguez.
To the evening fellow peers, parents, and Wigo staff, we are all here today to acknowledge the eighth grade graduated class of Wigo School. My name is Leslie Carmona, and I have been honored with the opportunity to speak on behalf of my fellow classmates. Today is going to be one of the most important days of our lives. Today we take a step into bigger and better things and look forward to the next chapter of our lives. As we move on, we must remember to stay true to ourselves and our values. We must never forget those who have supported us along the way. Thank you, teachers, staff, family, and friends. You have made an impact on our lives and we'll never forget what you have done for us. I want to tell every single one of you that I will always appreciate and acknowledge you, especially my parents. You have been my biggest supporters. You made me come to school, and because of that, here I stand today. My dear and beloved classmates, you have made this year one of my favorite years I've ever had here at Woodville. I wish each and every single one of you the best in mind because you all deserve it. I hope that we will stay in touch as we journey throughout life. But if you don't, perhaps one day in the near future, we will meet again as the successful professionals I know we will all become. As we reflect on our time here, remember the challenges we faced and the lessons we learned. Our lives have definitely changed from when we started kindergarten to now. We have overcome many challenges and they've helped us become the mature warriors you see up here today. Our lives are like the same we are. From the time we entered kindergarten, we felt like we'd be the same. The little thing we know, it was only changed from there. There came tests, homework on weekends, the stressful tasks, and so much more. But we adapted and evolved as little warriors do. This transformation will help us in high school because we believe and trust in what we have been told. Now, as we journey through high school, our metal will be tested yet again. I'm sure we will all be scared. I know I will be. But I know that we will persevere so that we are able to face new opportunities, explore our passions, make new friends, and create memories that will last us a lifetime. Now, before we celebrate this achievement and start looking forward to our future, I will leave you with this thought by Emma Roosevelt, who once said, The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Each and every one of the graduates here today is deserving of this future. In these graduates, I have witnessed courage, strength, perseverance, and so many more attributes that I can assure you that you are in the presence of success in the meeting. Now let's celebrate the beginning of these success stories. Congratulations, Class of 2023. We did it.
Award. Melanie Cortez, you have just you have just begun your academic journey. If and when you feel stuck or feel you are standing in quicksand, reflect upon your days here at Woodbelt and allow those memories to help you pull yourself out of that muck so that you may continue to make us proud of your future endeavors. I have been given the honor and privilege to present this prestigious award to a world service student. This student has proven time and again that he or she is willing to do what it takes to procure the goal. I have seen you, I have seen you struggle and stress because of the complexities of eighth grade. However, you did not allow these hardships and obstacles to keep you down. But instead, you have grown and matured into a student that any teacher can be proud of and will remember. You are the epitome of what a successful warrior should be. Never forget the hurdles you had to jump, nor the hardships you had to overcome, because they have made you into the perfect little warrior that we are all proud of. Leslie. <laughs> Leslie, thank you for allowing us to be a part of your growth. Without any further ado, I present this new value for your work. And now, this board will present this year's Warrior of the Year Award. for giving me the honor and privilege to present the prestigious Warrior of the Year Award to two of our most distinguished scholars. The Warrior of the Year is a well-rounded representative of Woodland School who has demonstrated an unwavering commitment to academic pursuits. These students have maintained a high academic performance, are of great moral character, and participate in extracurricular activities. Warrior of the Year should have aspirations for a successful future and have a desire to give back to their peers. Their achievements serve as an inspiration to our whole community and remind us that hard work, dedication, and a passion for learning are the keys to unlocking our full potential. This year's honorees will be receiving the Craig Brockway Scholarship. As many of you know, Mr. Brockway gave tirelessly speech to the students and families of Woodville. His dedication will always live in the hearts of those who knew him. Mr. Broadway's family has set up this very special scholarship to celebrate his legacy and to honor his commitment. I know he would be so happy that his family has continued to support the students that he dedicated his career to helping. Unfortunately, Mrs. Broadway did not attend today, so Mr. Ashton will be presenting the scholarship check in her honor. Please help me in congratulating our female warrior of the year, as voted by the middle school teachers, Ms. Melanie Martinez. When Melanie walked into my room this year, I was expecting the carefree child that I had in sixth grade. Smart, but not necessarily living up to her potential. Eighth grade, however, has proven to be her year. I can honestly say that she has impressed me every single day. This award is more than just a recognition of her academic achievements. It serves as a testament to her determination. She has a thirst for knowledge that has unwavered. She is a leader both in the academic setting and among her peers. She has set forth goals and accomplished every single one of them. In the future, Mallory plans to attend the University of Minnesota to obtain a degree in the medical field. 
I know she will make all of her dreams come true and that the sky will be her limit. I am truly honored to present the Warrior of the Year to Melody.
Oliver Hernández. Jocelyn Alvarado. Bell Diamond. 
Elena Ponce.
I stand before you to address the theme that one of our students, Daniel Thoughtby, I created for this graduation, Live Your Dream. And it's a powerful mantra crafted by these inspiring minds of our student body. This theme speaks volumes about the aspirations, hopes, and ambitions that drive our liberal students. It serves as a reminder that the path to success is paved with the choices we make and the dreams we pursue. As you leave the school of your childhood, remember that your dreams are not mere fantasies. They are the compass that will guide you to a future filled with purpose and joy. Embrace your passions with unwavering dedication. Let your curiosity be your guiding light and never let fear deter you from chasing your dreams. Believe in your abilities, for you possess the power to shape your own destiny. Class of 2023, may you have the audacity to dream big, the courage to overcome obstacles, and the perseverance to bring your dreams to life. Congratulations and may your journey be filled with extraordinary adventures as you embark on the pursuit of your dreams. I would like to invite Mr. Tepon to uh, raise his hand I want to thank all the parents for being here tonight, the students and our board of trustees and all the teachers and staff. You guys have done an amazing job. This couldn't have happened without these amazing folks that have been here all week doing what they need to do to make it special for our students. Students, let's give your parents a round of applause. Good to be here. My only wisdom for you as you go to high school, I've worked at the high school for 11 years, is that you need to get involved, participate, and persevere as well. I know that there's going to be a lot of peer pressure, but be yourself. Be who you are. Don't let other influence you to make important decisions. We talk about the world filled with many, many great people. And very, very, so many nice people, if you can't find one, then you be one. You be one of those nice people. So tonight, again, I want to thank you and congratulate you. So by the highest California Department of Education and by the virtue authority invested upon me, the school division of superintendents with presentation and certification by the class advisor, the art principal, the Woodville Union Board of Trustees. These people of Woodville Middle School have satisfactorily completed the elementary education curriculum prescribed by the Department of California Education. I hereby confirm their graduation and therefore they are entitled to receive elementary certification of graduation to enjoy whatever benefit appertaining here to you. Graduates, please stand up. Now you may move. 